can become a bedroom bully, right? No, not really. No, in a good way. Uh, well, maybe in a good way, but also not in a, in a good way, because men don't like to be suffocated. Mm. Yeah, they don't like, they like, they like the aggressiveness sometimes, the animal instinct comes in and then they want that girl who's ready and nigh and good to have, but also they don't like domination, you know, so you have to know your boundaries. Yeah. Yeah, men like to feel like, and as much as you can do a bit of that, um, not too much of it. You guys have, you, you've talked up probably about how many times you want, would you want to have sex in a day? Or how many times would you want to have in a week? And maybe you have that. But what about fantasies? What about urges? Have we discussed them? No. That's the truth. We have a positive appreciation towards our bodies when we're young. Two years. Yes, two, two years. years. Three years. Yes. Is this is this backed by scientific study? It is. They start touching themselves. That's how they start. Um, you know, um, I, I, um, self-soothing, right? Um, finding satisfaction, reward, pleasure with themselves. Until they begin now, the whole conversation starts with "Don't. That's bad. You're a sinner. You're wrong for it. Look at you. Bad manners." Then you start getting the wrong language for something that, that the, the is... The bad manners is the word that was used by the pawn. Yeah, you know, bad manners. You're going to be a rapist. Yes. You know, what, what are you doing? That's, 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 that's going to do this and this and this. Then they start looking at you what? as if they are, you're the one who's going to spoil all the what girls. What should she have done? Um, so I think I, I, th what also I got around is that, or what we get is that the sex education, and but what we lack is pleasure education yes we're not taught about pleasure we're not taught about health pleasure we all have hunger for things pleasure is hunger you know for something and we have it from when we are young we yearn for our mother's nipple you know to suck at it sometimes we don't need the, the the breast milk we just want to feel some sort of pleasure and reward and soothing we all uh, grow up when we are babies we want co-regulation you know we want regulation from somebody else and then when we start autonomy we start finding that soothing within ourselves so we start thump sucking we start uh, that looking for pleasure yes and soothing and reward so I find so many women, once they're done with children, they say, me, I just do for him. Unfortunately, I get that a lot. Why I'm done with children? Oh, because it was procreational. Exactly. You see, because it's an unconscious thing, it's um, a belief we have that you got, get married. Picture these very good Christian girls. And it's not like I'm attacking them. I'm just putting out a realistic element. Um, she's been told you can have sex before marriage, right? And that's a good thing, right? Um, so then they come into marriage and they don't want to focus on the erotica of sex because they're still confused between, should I enjoy it? Is it okay? Is my God looking at me? Is he going to say you're going into the wildish nature or something? The confusion, right? And then she prefers to focus on what is better you know you have sex you have children god said go and multiply the earth so she wants to find a very good reason why she should have sex those are the those, that's how i find their headspace they they are they are conflicted during i'm a pleasurable being because i teach them about sensuality when i'm talking to them and telling them unleash you know release yourself surrender yourself to you to your sensuality they say they still feel a cognitive block Mm. Right? In the fear that they will tap into their wildish nature because they said, Doreen, I have urges. I have urges. I fear if I release those urges, God will be looking at me, you know? They, and they say it's an unconscious thing when you ask me to go in general about my sex values, I still have the fear of how am I looking like to God? When we say the four horsemen of the apocalypse, it could be like a, a, a weird statement or a new statement to other people. But I know uh, Christians would be able to ask, so how is it related to communication? I have heard about it, but to be honest with you, I've mm -hmm. not taken a lot of time okay. to, to, to visit it. To visit it. So probably you'd background on it? Not so much. I'll just uh, be bringing it into how we use communication to kill sexual pleasure yeah. and, and how we don't use the right